Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video here, we successfully complete our blog all that post, right? So now our total blog code application is successfully done. And also right now our about page done, the service portfolio page done, the blog page, contact me page, I have also updated that part. And also you can see friend, I have updated that images link. So they have some of the default image, right? You can see they just simply added that asset and then the font in, and then that will be the asset. So I have already shared that things with you, how can load that our images. So right now that is our images is visible. They have some of the icon image is visible. Okay, here that is totally dynamic. You can make it from to the back end. And then there is a partners part. So if you will understand our um, yeah, about, so because our about part is just totally dynamic, right? Here I have already updated that part and also how to upload some of the multi images part. So that will be just like that same. So that will be just like that same. I hope you already know how to do this work. So there is a partner portion. So that will be your task to create this type of one of the functionality. So friend, whatever the things will be needed, I have already shared everything. Okay, so now our part is updated. That is a blog, how to do redact to a specific ID. I have already discussed about that things with you, how you can get that uh, categorize all the data. Great. So now in this video, uh, that will be very easy one of the part, like as a footer part, okay, into the footer area, they have some of the number, they have some of the description, they have some of the address, there are some of the email, and then social link, okay, and then the copyright, I want to do I want to make this part as a dynamic, I want to manage all the data from the back end. Let's do that work. It's very easy. So if you want to do this work, first of all, in our back end, right into the back end, we have to create another menu for this. So I want to create another table. Okay, I want to create another database table for our footer. So let's do that work. For doing this, we have to go to our project, our PHP Addison service now running. But I want to open the another terminal with a CMD and I just name it as a PHP Artisan. Okay, PHP Artisan make. And I want to create on the model name as a footer and also at a time I want to create another migration stable. So then that will be as a dash and then the migration stable. Now if you click as enter, now it will be created two of this file. One will be it's created one of the model and also it's successfully created one of the migration stable. Great. So now we have to allocate all that our field if you now go to our project into this project uh, right now we don't need this i close it header i close it i simply close everything okay close everything close everything now we have to go to our database right now there is a model model will be updated and here there is a database if you go to that migrations right now better from the blog i want to copy one of the table i copy it now that is our footer migrations table so now here i want to do to add some of the field because there should be needed some of the field as a as i told you we, i want to make it updated our number there is a short description so i make it as a number I make it as a number a number will be a string type rather than you can also use it as an integer which is totally fine i want to take another one as a short description okay make it as a short underscore description okay i make it as a short description that will be also i make better make it as a text okay so th that will be our text type which is totally fine and then our another field will be address and email i want to take two that will be the address and i want to take as a email and then i want to take another one as a facebook and then the twitter and copyright okay so i make it as a facebook facebook i want to take another one another field will be as a twitter i hope you already know what exactly the things we have to do we have done that type of work a lot of the time so then that will be the copyright okay i name another field as a copyright so for now our footer i think that will be enough so that is our database table name as a footer and in our stream uh, that is our table i added some of the field as a number short description address email facebook twitter and copyright and make that all field as a nullable which is totally fine and now we have to also update our model if you go right now and to make it as a protected guarded our footer model so that is a footer model here i updated great now we have to migrate it click as a save all and now if you want to migrate here we have to write down only as a php artisan and migrate now click as a enter now our table is successfully created now if you go to our database 
then now if you refresh it now that should be another one as a footer so you can see there is a footers and for the footer that is all that our field right so here we don't need to actually insert any data only i want to do the same things that i have done before only i want to get this data and i want to update this data right so for the reasons i want to do i want to insert some of the um, empty data if you go to that insert and with the insert i put some of the demo number i put some of the demo description okay so i simply added some of the address I use some of the email, okay, email at the rate gmail.com and then the Facebook URL. Here we have to write down as a Facebook, so better I make it as a Facebook. I copy it and then I want to paste it so that will be the Facebook and also I want to add that a Twitter, okay, that will be T W I W T E R Twitter.com and copyright text, uh, copyright text. I want to take it from to the easy learning, okay, from to the easy learning. I want to keep take some of the copyright mm, copyright like that is will be our copyright text okay I copy it and now I want to do I want to use it in here so that will be as a copyright text great now I want to insert it that means I want to click as a go now they have some of the one data you can see there's a one ID data number short description they have some of the data great so now I want to do I want to simply get this data right i want to get it in our admin that means here i want to create another menu so let's do that work is very easy if now we don't need this uh, we have to also create another controller but i want to create another controller as a php php artisan and make controller and in our home i want to create another controller as a footer controller okay footer controller now click as enter now created successful if you now go to our controller area in our home now that should be another one as a footer controller so our first job is we have to do have to take it right we have to take it in our web into this web area i want to take it uh, that will be our new controller name as a footer controller so i copy it now that will be as a footer controller great and then i want to create another route so i better copy it i want to create another um, group route like after this okay after that blog i want to do and to take another one i paste it so that will be as a footer okay that will be the footer all route and our controller name i name it as a footer controller so that will be as a footer controller i simply take one and now in our sidebar into the sidebar right now also i want to do and to take another one i copy it after that blog i want to do and to paste it so that is in our admin sidebar right into the admin sidebar means if you go to our admin um, that is our um, resources view admin and then body so that is our body and that is our sidebar okay so into the sidebar i want to take another one as a footer okay footer page setup i make it as a footer page setup and that will be as a footer setup okay i make it as a footer setup great i want to create another route for this that will be as a footer okay footer all i make it as a footer all or footer setup setup so now we have to create this type of one of the route i simply copy it and later i will actually that will be enough one field will be enough i simply remove it now that is our footer setup so i want to copy it i copy it and now if you go to our web route the procedure will be just like that same okay so now i simply make it as a footer setup our url will be as a footer and then the setup and in our footer controller i want to create another new method as a footer setup okay that will be the footer setup so now i want to create one of the control method that is a footer setup method in our footer controller now go to our footer controller here after this i simply name it as a public and then function and then our method will be as a footer setup right so now i make it as an and method so that will be the and method so friend that will be just like our about right so now better i want to get some of the reference from our about controller if you go to that home and that is our about controller you can see into this about i have already get that a specific one a data so that will be just like that same better i get that references from our about controller now i want to apply it in our footer okay so after that i simply paste it so now our model will be also needed better i want to use um, our model i copy it and now in our footer here i paste it so they have no images so right now we don't need any image portion only our model will be needed i have already created another model 
I have created that model name as a footer, right? So then that will be as a footer. Okay, make it as a footer. So that will be our model name. Great. So that is our model. I loaded that model. I loaded that carbon, which is totally fine. Now with our footer model, I want to find our specific one ID data, and I just name it as a um, all footer. Okay, all footer. I have already get our specific one ID data, right? I have inserted one of the data. So now I simply get it with this variable. Now in our admin, I want to create one of the new folder as a footer. And into this footer area, I want to create one of the new page as a footer all. A footer all. And now I get all that specific one ID data. Take the things with this variable. Now I pass it in our footer all page. That's all. Now, if you go to our admin at the admin area, we have to now create one of the footer folder. So now we'll go to the resources. It's very easy for the reasons I make it as a little bit fast because I hope you already know without watching this video, you can able to finish it. Now into this admin, I want to create another new folder and I just name that as a footer. And then I want to create another new file and the footer I click as open. Now click as a save as and I just name it as a footer all dot blade dot php so now i want to do as i told you that will be some of the field and we have to get that value right so that will be just like our about page if you go to our admin about and into this about that is our about page all blade here you can see that is some of the input field and they have some of the value i display so that will be just like that same better i copy everything from here our about page all i copy it and now in our footer all here i paste it so now we don't need any images because right now they have no images i simply remove it and also there is a dev for the images i remove it that is also not needed the description long description will be not needed short description field i want to take and then that will be our another one okay so friend that's all that's all then the input field everything will be same because from here i only want to do i want to update right so i name it as a footer footer page and our multi-part form data will be not needed i simply remove it make it as a clean right now there is a one field as the input field and the one as a text area for the short description right and then our submit that is the input field as a submit i make it as an update footer footer page and our form is closed in here great great so now if you want to visible it and now one by one we have to visible all the data so that is our footer i find all the data or variable i pass it in our footer all page now all with our all footer one by one i want to get it like there is all the id as a input field id that will be needed for the update so now i want to update it great and then first our first field now if you go to a database go better go to that structure so i always want to choose that same name as per our database field name so i put that input field name as a number and i put that our title title will be as a number okay number great and then with our um, all footer with our all footer now we have to display our field name our database field name as a number right so now our value should be display okay it should be display that value and then the short description so before short description i want to do there is a short description so better i copy it so now that is our field name as a short description our field name also the same name so here we don't need to change anything and also now only we have to update that variable because now i get all the data with our all footer now with this all footer i want to access our database field name as a short description right you can see there is the same name so here we don't need to change anything and I want to copy that input field because right now we don't need another input field. After that, I paste it two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, after that short description, there is another field as an address. That will be another input field. I name it as an address. So that will be the address, address, address. Right. And the value will be visible. And after that, there is another one as an email. I copy it. So then that will be as a email i make it as an email okay and then i want to done to update that field name or field name i name it as an email okay so i name it as an email great and also all that footer i want to display our database field name as an email value should be display and for the email i want to change the type type will be as an email type okay i make it as an email type great that means now that should be only email Mm, great and after that after then that will be as a facebook 
I want to make it as a Facebook or field name. I make it as a Facebook. It should be get that data from our all footer, our database field name as a Facebook. Okay, now I want to take another one. Another one will be as a Twitter. I copy it so that will be as a Twitter. Mm, sorry, without the Facebook, and then that will be as a Twitter, right? I make it as a Twitter make it as a Twitter and our field name will be as a Twitter and our type will be text and value will be all footer our database field name as a Twitter and same as our copyright better I copy it so then that will be as a copyright okay copyright and our field name I name it as a copyright as per our database field name all footer and display the value for the copyright great so friend that's all you have to do right i hope you already know every part in here so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our project and then you know back in now that should be another menu click as a refresh yeah you can see now there is another menu as a footer page setup and that is our footer page so now if you click as a footer page setup mm, you can see it's now successfully get all that value i have already inserted some of the demo data so now it's perfectly get all that our field data as a number that is short description address email facebook mm, twitter and then copyright okay simple things so you know next video i want to do i want to update this footer so that will be just like the same as per our about page because into this about page i have already done this job right so how can do this work but i want to continue this process you know next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video